know I am obsessed with The Bachelor and The Bachelorette like obsessed pretty much like half of America and every single teenage girl and college girl ever Rachel's new season starts the day you're actually watching this video and I am so excited for this season of The Bachelorette there are 31 suitors or men on The Bachelorette starting out this season, which I believe is a little bit more than normal. I feel like they always start out with like 26. Basically, I'm gonna be reacting to all of the beautiful men and so you guys can kind of see the cast and then we can all watch along tonight if you're watching this before it airs or after. We can totally just have a discussion about all sexy men that are gonna be on this season because literally I'm so excited. And I haven't looked at the cast list at all yet, so it's all literally my first impression and I'm super excited to go through it because I just love this show. It's so good and it's so, it's like my guilty pleasure. So without further ado, let's get into the men. So I have my laptop right here with all of the guys pulled up and I'm just going to go through them but I will put stuff all over the screen so you guys can see who I'm talking about and like their job and where they're from and their age and stuff like that. This isn't sponsored like at all. I literally just love the show. Like please sponsor me actually. That would be one of my favorite sponsorships ever. Okay, so the first guy's name is Adam and he is 27 and is a real estate agent from Dallas, Texas. And I always feel like they have people from Dallas in The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. There's always a girl or a guy from Dallas or somewhere in Texas. I don't know why. Literally always. Oh, wow. Super cute. It looks like he has like green eyes or blue eyes, which I am a sucker for light eyes. I think it's so sexy. And he has a really nice smile and really good teeth. He looks pretty cute. I'm excited. So yeah, that was Adam. He is again 27 and a real estate agent from Dallas, Texas. Seriously guys, what's up with these people being real estate agents on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? Like I always feel like there's a real estate agent. Next we have Alex and he is 28 and he is an information system supervisor from Gross Point Park, Michigan. Wow, that <laughs> was a mouthful. I have no idea what an information systems supervisor is. I don't know. He is so cute. He is working on the scruff. I am been a sucker for the scruff ever since I've been getting older. I don't know why. A good like scruffy sexy man. <sighs> yes. Okay, the next guy's name is Anthony, and he is 26, and he is an education software manager from Chicago, Illinois. Okay, literally, what's with all the A names this season so far? I've just gone through the first three people, and they're literally Adam, Alex, and Anthony. What? This guy is pretty cute. His eyebrows look like they need a little help, though. Like, honey, did you not get them plugged? That is so mean. I'm sorry. I'm just going to stop. That was so mean. Next, we have Blake E. And he is an aspiring drummer from Marina Del Rey, California, meaning he's unemployed. There's always some random career they just, like, throw in there and, like, make a guy some, like, random thing. Like, an aspiring drummer. So he's not a real drummer. Okay, next we have another Blake. Literally, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette never fails to have two people with the same name. It's always like a Blake or like a Brittany R and a Brittany M or like something random like that. Like it's always like they have to differentiate. It's ridiculous. But the next guy's name is Blake K and he is 29 and he is a US Marine veteran from San Francisco, California. Can we just say sexy? Sexy man in uniform? Hell yes. Hell yes. Next, we have Brady. He is 29 and he is a male model from Miami, Florida. So obviously this kid is like a pretty boy. I really wanna look him up on Instagram actually. He looks like he would be a super pretty boy. He has beautiful flowing, like he's got the flow going on. Literally, I love a guy with good hair. Sucker for a guy with good hair. So the next guy's name is Brian and he is 37 and he is a chiropractor from Miami, Florida. Wow, he does not look 37. I feel like guys always get better with age and with girls it's like a 50-50. You'll look really good or you look really bad. There's like no in between. But he is so freaking cute. He's got that scruff going on. He's got some nice eyebrows, some nice hair. I'm really feeling it. Also me loving some older men. I don't know. I don't know. I'm literally not even 20 and I'm crushing on this 37 year old dude. Next we have Bryce and he is 30 and he is a firefighter from Orlando, Florida. Again, the men in the sexy uniform. I love a good guy in a uniform. It's just super sexy. He looks pretty cute. Also not my type. Next we have Dean and he's 26 and a startup recruiter from Venice, California. I don't know what that means either. I think like startup like a business recruiter or 
I don't know. From Venice, so holla at your girl who lives in California, but he just looks so young and cute and innocent. I really don't know if he would be her type, but we'll see. Like, I literally don't know any of these guys, like, how they act, so who even knows? But if you guys would like to see more Bachelorette videos, let me know in the comments below. Ugh. Now we have a sexy chocolate man. Sexy man. His name is Demario. He is 30 and he is an executive recruiter from Century City, California. I feel like there's a lot of guys from California on this season, which is interesting because Rachel's from Dallas, Texas, I think, I, if I remember correctly. So it's it's interesting. Like someone being raised in Texas and like growing up around guys from their they are so different than like California boys, but all of these guys are a lot older and I feel like in California, like just with my experience and like being in LA, a 25 year old guy is equivalent to like a 35 year old guy in California. So if he's like 30 or older and he's living in CA, he might be mature or he might still act like he's 14. I don't know. Okay, next we have Eric and he's 29 and he is a personal trainer from Los Angeles, California. Hey, represent my home. This is my home. I live in LA if you didn't know, so holla at your girl. But sexy man, personal trainer. We need some good muscles up in this bitch. Oh, oh, I feel like we already have a winner. This guy, this next guy, I could totally see him making it far just because of where he's from and what he looks like. Which is like, I'm not trying to like be like, oh, that looks like her type of man, but like honestly, he seems pretty intellectual. Let's get into who it is. This guy's name is Fred. He is 27 and he's an executive assistant from Dallas, Texas. So he's a little bit younger than Rachel, which is interesting, but he's from Dallas, which is also kind of cool because if they ended up getting together, they're from the same spot. They literally wouldn't even have to move anywhere. Like. How fantastic. Next we have Grant and he's 29, an emergency medicine physician from New York, New York. He looks like he's from New York, that's all I gotta say. When I was editing this, I totally realized he looks just like Dan Humphreys from Gossip Girl. Like, totally giving me some Dan Humphreys vibes. Next we have Ignacio, or Iggy. Sweet nickname. He is 30 and he's a consulting firm CEO from Chicago, Illinois. That means he's got money. Oh wow, oh my god, another match made in heaven. The next guy's name is Jack Stone and he is 32 and he's an attorney from Dallas, Texas. Literally the same job, they're from the same place. I'm pretty sure she's from Dallas, I could be totally wrong. I can't remember if she's from Houston or Dallas, but I'm pretty sure she's from Dallas, so this is like crazy. The next guy's name is Jamie and he is 32 and he is a sales account executive from Santa Monica, California. Again with the California boys, I feel like there is so many this season and usually I feel like they're kind of like mixed. You feel? The next guy's name, bringing me back to biblical times, his name is Jedediah and he is 35 and he is an ER physician from Augusta, Georgia, which I have no idea where that is. That must be like butt crack Georgia, but who knows? Actually, that kind of seems like it would be like re a relevant city, so I'm probably just being an idiot. Okay, I think that Chris Harrison or whoever comes up with this stupid thing, the marketing team, I don't know, it's probably not Chris Harrison, has come up with the dumbest job title to ever place under a name dumbest. This guy's name is Jonathan. He is 31 and he is a tickle monster. A tickle monster. From somewhere in Florida. I can't even say it. Okay, so the next guy's name is Josiah. He is 28 and he is a prosecuting attorney from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Again, sexy man. Love a man with some facial hair. A1. Oh, this guy is so cute. He looks like he should work at Google. Okay, so this guy's name is Kenneth or Diggy. He is 31 and he's a senior inventory analyst from Chicago, Illinois. Again, quite a few people from Chicago. I feel like there's always just like one from kind of like each state and there's not like a bunch of people. The most people that I feel like they have from both states is like California and Texas. But Chicago, stepping it up. Okay, the next guy's name is Kenny. He is 35 and he's a professional wrestler from Las Vegas, Nevada. That is such a cool job, okay? I bet you he is so freaking buff. Yes. Okay, the next guy's name is Kyle and he is 26 and he's a marketing consultant from Los Angeles, California. Again, Los Angeles. I don't have anything to say. Okay, so this next guy's name is Lee, and he is so cute. I'm like super digging the flow. He is 30, and he is a singer-songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee. I love a guy who can sing. Again, with the musician thing, if you can sing, play an instrument, you're automatically like three points hotter than you would be if you didn't. Okay, so the next guy's name is Lucas. He is 30, and he is a wabu... I don't know what the heck that is. It says he's a waboom from Santa Monica, California. What the heck is a waboom? 
W A B O no W H A B O O M. I can't even spell it. I'm gonna Google this. What is a wa boom? I'm literally Googling it now because I have no idea. Oh my god, look, literally someone wrote an article about it five hours ago. It says, What does waboom mean? Bachelorette contestant Lucas has one of the weirder job titles on Rachel's season. Okay, according to Chris Harrison, a waboom is a lifestyle. It's an essence. It's who he is. It's a noun, it's a verb, it's an adverb. You can be a waboom, you can be waboomed, and you can waboom. You can call somebody a waboom. So what the heck is that? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Okay, the next guy's name is Matthew, or Matt, and he is 32, and he's a construction sales rep from Meridian, Connecticut. Interesting, Connecticut. All right, next we have Michael, and he is 26, and he is a former professional basketball player from Chicago, Illinois. All right, the sexy basketball player. I am so down for that. Okay, the next guy's name is Milton. He is 31, and he is a hotel recreation supervisor from North Bay Village, Florida. These guys have really cool jobs. Besides the weird, like, waboom, and then the other one, which I don't even remember what it was, but it was a weird job title. They have pretty cool jobs, so go freaking The Bachelorette. The next guy's name is Mohit or Mohit, I don't know, but he's 26 and he's a product manager from Pacifica, California. Again, represent, I have family who lives there, so that is super, super awesome. It's beautiful, but wow, he looks like he has beautiful, soft, silky hair that I just wanna run my fingers through. Okay, next we have Peter, and he is 31, and he is a business owner from Madison, Wisconsin. He looks pretty cute. I'm digging the little scruff. I'm digging it. What's up with these guys and their horrible eyebrows? I'm not trying to be, like, rude or, like, like mean or, like, demeaning, but they a lot of these guys do not have very good eyebrows. Like, you think you're going on TV, you would get them threaded or, like, waxed or something. Okay, next we have Rob, and he is 30, and he is a law student from Houston, Texas. So he's still in school, and he's 30. What did he do in his 20s? That could be a red flag right there. Rachel, watch out. And then finally, we have Will, and he is 28, and he is a sales manager from Miami, Florida, and he is so cute. I just wanna like pinch his cheeks. He's like cute, like little boy cute. He just looks so like, oh. Okay, so I really, really like Michael, Lucas, Lee, Demario, and Adam. I think that they are so so cute, and I'm really excited to see how they are on the show. I am so excited for season 13 of The Bachelorette. It's going to be seriously amazing, and if you didn't know, and you're watching this on Monday, it starts today at 8 p.m., so definitely go watch it. I'm gonna be live tweeting and also live snapping, so definitely add me on both of the social medias if you guys wanna watch along with me. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you guys would like to see me do some more videos about The Bachelorette and this season as it goes along, let me know in the comments below what kind of videos like that you would like to see because I would totally like to make this kind of like a series. It is one of my favorite shows and I'm so excited because this season's gonna be so amazing and then in the summer when Bachelor in Paradise starts, don't even get me started. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.